Hey, it's Trevor Young, uh, the Power Warrior here with you for an end of year wrap up with a few books that you might be interested um, to, to get your hands on if you can convince um, Santa to, um, to get them for you for this, uh, for this Christmas. I'm um, just going to talk about four books really quickly. Uh, these are books that I've pretty much read, uh, although one I'm really looking forward to reading, but I've had to skim through and I'm, I'm comfortable enough to recommend it. Um, so if you've got a bit of time on your hands this uh, Christmas break and you want a, one or two books to, in a marketing sense to get your head around, uh, check out some of these. Now, the first one I want to talk about is, it's on the iPad. It's called No Bullshit Social Media by Jason Falls and Eric Deckers. Um, this is, as the title would suggest, very much um, pragmatic is one word. Um, it's straight to the point. Um, Jason and Eric, the authors, they, they, they actually talk about um, once you put marketing, so if it's social media marketing, once you put marketing into the, into the equation, then it's about business. And they don't, well, they kind of have a crack at the uh, probably the more purest social media people, the ones that they say um, join hands in a circle and go kumbaya all the time, the hippie tree huggers as they call them. But um, I, I don't know Eric that well. I've I've been reading Jason stuff for a long time, and um, he probably came from that school as well. But he's now developing a bit more of a harder edge uh, to his to his thinking, his ideas, his philosophies around social media, and that's pretty cool because. Um, this is a space that's evolving all the time. Um, their whole thing is about um, let's ignore the hype and, and, and look at the facts and they're big on the um, on measurement and ROI and, and putting things in place, processes in place so so you, you do get something out of it in terms of being a business. Um, they, they talk about seven things that you can do, f that social media can do for your business. So they boil it down to that. Now let's see how I go. Um, one is it really helps with branding and awareness. Um, the second one is uh, protecting brand reputation and, and, and social media can also enhance uh, public relations for your organization. Um, customer service is another big area that falls under social media for these guys. And they're also big on using social media for R&D, research and development. And finally, and probably importantly, and they really hammered this home, that social media can um, drive leads and sales. Um, and they also talk a bit about social media building community as well. So they cover a really wide spread. Um, I mean, there's a lot of social media books out there. Uh, doesn't mean that they're wrong at all. What this one, a lot of people will like this one though, if you're in business, is it does cut to the chase. So if you're probably understanding social media reasonably well and you want to get right into it, jump into this book, you'll get some good ideas. They cover everything from social media policy, um, crisis communications. Um, and another one I found interesting was who owns it within an organization. Now, obviously, when you're talking a bigger organization, who does own social media is a, is a big issue and they cover all of those elements. So, so worth a look. Um, plenty of examples and case studies, a lot of smaller ones actually with, with um with businesses and companies I've never heard of, but uh, some of the big ones are Ford um, um, and, and Scott Monty, the so head of social media there. One thing he did early in the piece, uh, Boeing, a nice little story from there. I won't spoil that, but you have to read that. Um, Century 21 Real Estate. Um, and in terms of the community building, uh, Fiskers, the uh, the Scissors people, um, that's, that's one that's been Pretty well covered uh, if you want to read more on that Fisker's case study there's a great book called Brains on Fire so no bullshit um, social media um, worth a look for businesses who want to get their teeth into some harder edge look at exploring ROI a little bit looking at the, the dark side of I guess what can happen and, 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 and issues and crisis online um, so it's a pretty good read get into it um, the second book I've got here I want to read I don't want to read. I've, uh, I've I've read, and it's called the New Relationship Marketing: How to Build a Large, Loyal, Profitable Network Using the Social Web by Mari Smith, with a forward by Guy Kawasaki. Uh, Mari, uh, if you're aware of Mari, she was probably still is. Um, she made a name as an expert in Facebook marketing, and uh, that's where I first um, sort of learned about learnt about her and and started you know reading and um, 
you know, about her philosophies, etc., about Facebook marketing. Uh, but she's she's morphed that a little bit more. And I, when I was recently in Los Angeles for Blog World uh, 2011, um, I, I was in one of her um, presentations, and she was one of the highlights of the uh, of the event, as far as I was concerned. So um, very much, you like the little diamantes here. Um, not everyone's got a message, but apparently, I rock. You rock with much love from Mari. Ah, very nice. Um, but this book is is good because it makes you stop and think. Okay, well, it, inherently there's social media around, but really it starts looking at social uh, looks at relationship marketing in a social media world. I suppose is the easiest way to say it. And she takes you through very much the basics of it and. And there's, there's a lot of stuff that you'll probably know in here, but it, I think anything like any books like this, it's good to get little reminders and hints and tips along the way. And I really do think you'll get that. So she covers the basics of uh, relationship marketing, but also, uh, and I, I think importantly, breaks it down into the nine steps to growing your business through the through relationship marketing or the new relationship marketing. A um, couple of the areas that might be of interest, um, becoming a, a, an authority through content, uh, providing and creating and distributing uh, quality content. Uh, she looks at um, how to turn fans and followers into, into paying customers. And oh, this was another one, building how to build your network uh, and become a centre of influence. And I think being, becoming influential, growing your network, it's all about learning soft skills. Um, I, that's the, basically what the book's about, learning the soft skills that, that are needed in today's new relationship marketing and, and obviously very social web driven. So uh, Mari's you know, one of the most influential uh, people in, on the social media scene um, and she continually you know, is quoted and, and, and highlighted as someone who's, who's, who's worth listening to and reading. And uh, I, I'm 90% uh, I'm through the book, uh, but I wanted to make sure that you guys knew about this and, and saw the, dime, the turquoise diamond monties. Um, another book that I've been saving up for for Christmas, um, for the Christmas break, at which I'll be reading more thoroughly. I've, I've read probably half of it. Um, I met this guy at uh, the PRIA, Public Relations Institute, PR Directions Conference in Sydney um, at the end of October, and it's Brian Solis's book, um, the end of business as usual. Rewire the way you work to succeed in the consumer revolution. Uh, I did interview Brian. I'll, I'll put a, I'll drop a, um, a link into the, um, the video for that. And uh, I saw him give a presentation. And and he's one of the Brian's one of the sort of the thought leaders and the futurists in in the social media space. Works with Altimeter Group. Um, does a lot of talks. He's written a, a really good book called Engage, which isn't that old, really. So he's he's, he's very um, extremely prolific. Um, and so check that one out. Um, I've read sort of half of it, uh, but having spoken to him and, and I read his blog often, I can recommend that if you're in PR, particularly, you need to um, you need to check out that book. And the final one, I only found this the other night. It's called Engagement from Scratch. Whoa, can you read that with that light? Where's that light coming from? Man, Engagement from Scratch. <coughs> Excuse me, how super community builders create a loyal audience and how you can do the same. Uh, it's put together by a guy called Danny Inney, I-N-Y. But it's got a lot of other players who have got sort of essays, I suppose you'd call them, involved. So. Um, Guy Kawasaki's involved. There's a forward by CC Chapman, all the big names. Brian Clark from Copy Blogger, um, Derek Helpern's worth a look. Mitch Joel, uh, Danny Brown. These are guys that I read often, and um, I'm really saving that one for a bit of um, a bit of space over the holiday break. But uh, I've just had a skim through. But look at all the authors, well, all the people who are involved in it. Uh, I'm, I'm certain that it's, you're going to get a lot of insights out of that. And I'm a big one about building the community as a future of marketing. So uh, everything from building content and community. So have a look at those. So we had um, the new relationship marketing. We had the no bullshit social media. We had uh, engagement from scratch and the end of business as usual. So uh, happy reading if you get a chance to read any of those books over the holidays. Cheers.